there are different ways to start working with uh, React. Uh, probably the easiest one is to install uh, a desktop tool called Create React App. That tool was introduced by Facebook some years ago and it massively facilitates the process of creating new apps with React. So, what do we need to do first? We need at least to make sure that we are running a relatively recent version of Node.js. If you don't have Node, you can check the uh, link to the download of the package for each corresponding operating system below in the description of the video. So once you download the corresponding packets, what uh, you need to do, you need to open a, a terminal. Uh, terminal is a command line tool, the classic uh, window, you know, speaking with uh, black background and white text on top of it. If you are a Windows user, um, you can use uh, PowerShell. Uh, so if you search PowerShell, it will it will show you the, the 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 command line tool. You can also use if you got Git installed, you can use Git Pass, or you can even use CMD, which is the classic classic command line tool that comes bundled with Windows for decades now. If you're a Mac user, you can simply search terminal. And then it will open this kind of command line tool, right? So after installing Node, you can type Node-V and it will tell you the version that you got installed. If you're a Mac user, that version will show immediately. If you're a Windows user, make sure you open the terminal after you've completed the installation. Re Create React App requires at least version 8.10.0. In my case, that's fine. What do we need to do in case, for instance, you install Node some time ago, right? So if you install Node some time ago, uh, we can update it easily from the command line. So uh, we'll drop the commands you need to type in the description of the video. So essentially, first of all, we need to update uh, Node Package Manager. So you simply type npm install minus gn. Okay, be careful with the spaces and dashes and all these things. If you're a Windows user, that should go that should work straight away. If you're a Mac user, it may fail error access permission denied. This is because by default it's not that easy to install uh, new applications using Mac. But to solve the problem, simply add sudo as a prefix of the command, sudo space, and then npm install minus gn. So that will try to update npm as an administrator. After pressing enter, you'll have to type your password. Be careful because the password is not typed, so it's not visible what you are typing. But if you put the correct password, it will essentially, you know, install the newest version of, of npm. After that, we need to clean the cache just in case, so yes, copy the uh, npm cache clean space minus f, right? And yeah, it will essentially remove any kind of uh, caching just to make sure that you're dealing with fresh versions. And finally, the way to get the latest version of, uh, of Node, we can simply type n stable, which I'm not going to run because my version is, I mean, it's not the last one, but that's compatible with uh, Create React App, so I'll leave it as it is. If you, uh, however, type Enter now, it will download and install the latest version of Node. If you're a Mac user, again, you may need to add sudo in front of the command. After running that, again, you type Node-V, and then it will show you the updated version. Again, all this process is only necessary if you already had Node before. So you can type Node minus B before starting the process and then you will see if you got Node already installed or not. Right. Uh, 
apart from that, because we are going to work with uh, JavaScript and React and all these things, we need uh, an editor. An editor, and or also called IDE, is a desktop, generally speaking, it's a desktop tool where we can interact and we can do coding, right? So there are multiple editors. You may be familiar with, uh, with some of them, like uh, Atom or... or IntelliJ, Sublime, there are lots of different popular editors. Um, at this stage of the journey, I would like to recommend you Visual Studio Code. Don't get confused with classic Visual Studio. This is explicitly Visual Studio Code. So this tool quickly became probably the most popular coding editor in the world because of multiple reasons. It's open source, it's free, it's supported by a big company, Microsoft. It's you, you got monthly updates, and, and and for JavaScript developers, it's very important because Visual Studio Code is written in JavaScript. It's actually one of the most important open source projects written in JavaScript. It's very performant. It's very efficient. It's very stable. It's literally great. Again, this is just a suggestion. If you have any other favorite uh, coding editor, just feel free to to use it. If not, then simply you know. Download your corresponding packets and then install it easily. You know, double click, next, 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 finish, blah, blah, blah. Easy, right? No problem at all. Um, so, after installing Visual Studio Code, essentially, we're pretty much uh, ready to start thinking about creating React applications. So, what do we need to do? The next step will be to bootstrap to create the skeleton of our React application. How do we do that? Well, we need to install the engine that will easily allow us to create React application. So again, reusing the terminal, reusing the terminal, now you can type npm install create React app minus g the minus g flag is important because that will install that create react app tool globally in your system and again if you're a mac user please prefix that with sudo sudo npm install create react app minus g so if we run the command you will see a progress right and eventually you will see that the create react app install uh, application got installed what that actually means well what that means is now we can uh, essentially create apps easily or at least you know initialize react applications very very easily with literally no setup required how do we do that Let's type uh, create thus react thus app space and then the uh, name of the app that you want to create, right? So yes, what this will do is that will create a new folder in your system and the name of the folder will be whatever name of the app we provide. So let's call this app, for example, in my case, I'm going to call it Codery test. So now, probably again, because I'm a Mac user, I will need to put sudo in front of it, unsurprisingly. So now look at the messages. So now it says creating a new React application. Please note the folder, that's very important because then we'll need to open that folder with Visual Studio Code. By definition, generally speaking, uh, the default directory of the terminals is your home directory. On Max, it will be slash user, slash your username. And then, yeah, you, you can see it will create a new folder with the name of your new repo. If you're a Windows user, it will look something like C slash users, slash your username, slash the name of the app. So what's going on at the moment? You can see it's a process. It may take between one or two minutes, depending on your hardware where we are essentially uh, downloading all the dependencies that we need, or at least the dependencies that Facebook thinks that we need to start creating successful applications using React. So it's installing a bunch of utilities, React, React DOM, React Script. You know, we, we, we don't care that much about what's going on under the scenes, 
but essentially uh, that's all we need to start creating React applications. So that's almost done. But before going any further, uh, let's open let's open the app with uh, Visual Studio Code. So even if you get some errors, that may be okay. That sometimes happen. But the important thing is at the end. Uh, get this kind of uh, plus messages and then when it says added blah 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 lots of packages right so a react application may wait probably more than 300 next right so much more that's more than javascript that's more than software development guys eventually yeah you get the success message and now look at what it says here we suggest that you begin by typing cd call duty test in my case if you go to different application name obviously that message will change and then npm starts. So let's follow. Let's just follow these instructions. So let's do cd code duty test. So now we are drilling down into the root of the of the folder that just got created. And finally, let's type npm start. So that's the last command we are running today. I promise. In case you are running another another uh, node application, it will tell you that you know there is something already running. Uh, do you want to open a new port? So do you want to open a new application somewhere else? Just type Y. And then, yeah, you may get some warnings in your systems. And then look at what happened. It will automatically open a new tab in your browser. You will see it talks about localhost and then a port will be 3000, 3001, 3002, whatever. That's, these are the classic uh, ports that Node use. It's not the scope of this session to, to, to you know, to call the details of how Node works. But essentially, the main goal here is to get this kind of sexy spinner logo. That's the React logo, right? So if we got that view, that means that the setup was correct. So yes, one more thing for today. I would like to show you how to interact with this application. So I'm going to open Visual Studio. So if I type VS Code, I'm sure if you probably when you install it, you may got a, you know, even a desktop shortcut or something like that. So I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to uh, open this. If it's the first time you open it, you will see that you get uh, like a view like that, right? Uh, probably with nothing on it. So essentially, the, the main goal now is to open a new folder. You see, open folder, or, or alternative, you can go to file open. That's pretty much the same thing. So if you click in open folder, then what we can do is we can look for the application that we just installed. So what is that? Well, in my particular case, that's in my in my home directory. So now somewhere here, you can see I got this code DD test. That's the name of our app. So I click open. And after a few very long seconds, uh, then we got our application already loaded in Visual Studio Code. Next time we, we open the, the editor, the, the app will be already loaded for us, which is pretty convenient. So now, not sure you remember, uh, but yeah, we got here a message saying edit source slash app.js JavaScript and save to reload. Let's do that. If you will see on the left hand side a navigation panel, so then we can inspect the different files and folders that got created automatically for us. So then we let's simply open app.js. And then you will see here that what you get, ignoring the details for now, but that's pretty much the source code. This is HTML, if you are any familiar with this. Well, no, that, that's not strictly speaking correct, but it's kind of HTML that is incorporated as part of a React component. And that piece of HTML ish is the source code that generates that view. Look, edit source app and save to reload edit source app and say to reload. That means that we can obviously change the message, right? So this setup is done. Easy, right? If we change the message and we save the file back to the browser, look, it's immediate. That's, that's one of the most beautiful things of modern software development. As soon as we change something, we didn't even have to refresh the browser. Of course, we can refresh the browser if we want, but we don't have to the uh, browser got automatically, kind of, magically refreshed for us. That's pretty convenient. That's performant. That's efficient. That's great. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope 
everybody managed now to have the uh, setup of the uh, first React application and obviously taking that as a starting point, we'll learn how to deal with uh, the amazing world of React, how to create components, how to add images, how to introduce navigation and all these things. Thank you very much for watching guys.